Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 1, Episode 20, Thoughts. This episode's called Nothing Personal. Another episode I love. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode. No spoilers for anything MCU that happened after this episode first premiered. The top link in the description box will enable you to donate to the site after strikers, and I implore you to do so. And then there are some links to videos that help explain why this is such an important strike. So, let's dive in. So, yeah, we open on Maria Hill. Always great to see Kobe Smulders as Maria Hill. And, you know, she says, you know, she can handle all the alphabet soup agencies. But Congress is like kindergarten, which, sadly, very accurate. We've seen hearings by Congress where, I forget, was it Congress or was it the Senate, where there were just a bunch of old white, guy, old white guys who were, like, they were supposed to try to, you know, conduct a hearing, to, you know, with um, Mark Zuckerberg about, like, Facebook being unethical, and they just fundamentally don't understand the thing. So they're like asking him questions where he's like, how would you? No, that's not at all how that works. You know, it takes a lot to make Mark Zuckerberg. Sir, What's wrong with my tongue today? I can't talk. Mark Zuckerberg look like the lesser of two evils in a situation, but they managed. And yeah, she's, you know, who or what is a man thing, which, nicely done. Not sure we're actually going to see man thing on the show, but yeah, it's it's a neat little, and it's the kind of thing where, you know, like, if you have no idea who or what a man thing is in the comics, you know, you're going to be like, wow, there's a thing called a man thing. You know, she, the reference she makes is vague enough that you're not going to, like, be completely confused about what's going on in the episode if you don't know man thing and i quite like the the you know maria just got done explaining on the phone what the surveillance package for tonight is and then she looks around and they're all gone which just yeah and we see it was May, and learn that it was Pepper on the other end of the line, which 100%, I could see the two of them venting to each other, you know, in the, in the aftermath of S.H.I.E.L.D. being, you know, they, they didn't have a lot, if any, contact before S.H.I.E.L.D. was taken apart in the movies, but I 100% see how they could... I don't think they did share, at least... Yeah, you know, they, they hadn't by this point shared screen time in, in one of the movies. But, the you know, they're both, like, smart, ambitious women who work as the, like, right hand or just, just below uh, an arrogant man who asks them to do things where they're like, are you, are you serious about this? So, yeah, they would definitely vent to each other. And I love that, you know, so security eventually shows up. And Maria's like, three minutes and 20 seconds? Really? You know, you, you took way too long. She's not like, ugh, caught, you know, just... And I appreciate, you know, if you don't count the, the previously on... Three minutes and 20 seconds was about the running time of the episode up to that point. So, yeah, I see what you did there. And if I had a hat, it would come off for it. And, yeah, we see the team trying to figure out what happened. And Simmons suggests pancakes. Not for what happened, but what should happen. And she finds Koenig, which, yeah... Was it necessary for them to have two young women who are not used to seeing death find that? Like, because I, I just want to point out, in the, in the bunker at this point, there are three men, two of whom are completely comfortable with seeing dead bodies. So it could have been 
it didn't have to be Simmons. I feel like someone writing for this show likes scaring female characters. And... Yeah, and we, you know, Fitz finds a message that Sky left that tells that, you know, that Ward is, is Hydra, which, very clever, very, very nicely done, you know, yeah, just like Sky, you know, of course she doesn't leave with Ward without leaving the message, and yeah, you know, sooner or later someone was going to realize, oh wait, the, the Windows... Windows are supposed to be synced up. Here's one that's daytime. Here's here's one that's nighttime. That's weird. And Ward catches Sky looking for bullets and does find the the gun on her. And you know she's you know she makes it seem like what I'm not gonna use it on you. It's just for protection. You know everyone's out to get us right now. And, yeah, Fitz refuses to believe Ward is Hydra and gets, you know, ag again blows up at Triplet. And, yeah, Simmons confirms, you know, which which is very realistic, that, that you know, based on the, you know, an, uh, uh, autopsy of uh, Koenig's body, yeah, you would be able to tell the height and the the like physical strength of the assailant yeah there's no way that sky sky is roughly Koenig's height and certainly isn't strong enough you know i'm not making some kind of misogynist statement about female strength but you know there are some women who could lift Patton Oswalt some he might even seek out and pay for that experience but Chloe Bennett is not one of those women let's see yeah and yeah Sky said you know it'll it'll take one hour and you know I guess we're having dessert then I should have knocked on wood just then <laughs> And, yeah, in, in the cafe, Ward explains to Skye how he can tell that she's nervous. And I believe what he's saying, you know, there's a lot of times where, which I'm not sure we were as aware, but, you know, more recently it's it's been, you know, yeah, people on the right don't accept it, but, you know. They don't really accept reality anymore. That ship has 100% left the, the station. Um, but, you know, we on the left today acknowledge that body language analysis, a lot of it is just bull. But what Ward says here, you know, you're sitting stock still because you're worried you're going to fidget and you're maintaining eye contact to try to come across as confident that sounds very credible to me, you know, and it's also taking, very much taking the circumstances into account, which is sometimes a problem with body language analysis. They're just looking at something that they don't know the full context of and saying, oh, well, you know, clearly this and this. Very cool to see Talbot again. And Maria was the one who led him to the bunker and yeah, you know, when she explains it, we do understand her reasoning. And, yeah, we see May has solved the puzzle, which I, pre like, it's a, it's worthy of one of the better, like, point-and-click adventure, you know, or at least, yeah, adventure puzzle games. You know, if, if it hadn't shown up in this show, I would not rule out it showing up in like, you know, one of the, one of the Penumbra games, or one of, one of the games by the, hold on, I'll have the developer momentarily, the, um, Frictional Games developers, the, the games they have developed, you know, I buried that when 
you know, yeah, Fury said, I buried that information when I didn't bury Coulson, a.k.a. the grave that does not have Coulson's body, but does have the tombstone saying Coulson, that's where you'll find the information very nicely done. And it's also the kind of thing where, like, you still need to know where Coulson is even buried for that, you know, yeah, in order to find and I can imagine there's yeah yeah and you wouldn't get the information without talking to for example Maria Hill it wasn't like public information or anything and yeah Maria Hill explains the plan to Phil and they fight their way out very cool very exciting and yeah so Sky talking to Ward says, you know, she she's saying, you know, would you like to say to Garrett? And then she says to Ward what she wants to say to Ward. You know, you're a you're a traitor. You're you're you know, just yeah. And then we see, you know, Sky tipped off the the cops. And because the episode isn't over yet, of course that's not quite gonna go as she had hoped. I also like the, you know, I, I, you know, yeah, earlier in the episode than this scene, the, you know, we see her, you know, like, alt tap to a window that says wrong location. You know, you, you can't unlock the hard drive at this location. So, yeah, she, you know, she intentionally took him to the wrong place and, as of that moment, the audience knows, and we're trying to figure out, well, then why did she choose that place? And it's, of course, you know, you can get the cops there. You know, as long as they're on the bus, that you know, they're not going to be able to get, you know, they, they would basically have to, like, scramble Air Force, and she's not going to be able to get the message to, you know, but, but yeah. Here, on the, on the ground, she just has to inform them, you know, that fugitive you're looking for, Grant Ward, Hydra, this is where he is. You know, they're going to jump at that. And, yeah, very, very cool. You know, she she's trying to get away. You know, he says, don't run. And she says, oh, drive instead. Better idea. Thank you, Ward. Gets in the car, you know, starts to drive away. And then Mike, like, lifts off, you know, takes off, lands on the car and gets her. Right after Ward gets out the words, I'm not going to hurt you. Which, yeah, you know, that was... He knew, and we, the audience, knew because we heard Garrett tell him, there's a worse alternative. You know, Ward wasn't looking to hurt Skye. He was going to try to get the information, to get her cooperation without hurting her. Although, you know, he thought that Mike would attack her, where, you know, Mike had been told by Ward, uh, uh, Grant, hurt Ward, don't hurt Sky. Let's see. And, yeah, you know, Grant, Garrett. Garrett told Mike to follow Ward. Let's see. And yeah, Sky is absolutely furious with Ward, you know, pointing out that he's a Nazi. And he says no. Even though, you know, she, she you know, she says, you know, founder of Hydra, Red Skull, big frickin' Nazi. I don't think that's an exact quote. I think she might have added a little sky twist to, to the, the wording of the manual. But yeah, you know, he, he denies it, which neo-Nazis do. You know, be, believe their actions. Don't If, if a neo-Nazi shows that he's a neo-Nazi through his actions, but denies it through his words, believe his actions. And, you know, we, we have to keep in mind... Nazism is built on lying until they get power. Hitler told very few truths to the public, you know, when he was just trying to get their support. And he did lie after getting power as well, but, yeah, you know. 
Let's see. Yeah, and the the. Let's see. That brings us to. Yeah, we you know Mike, you know basically, you know says he's given up. He's he's not going to be able to. You know he is no longer the person he was, no matter how much Sky tries to appeal to him. And then instead of attacking Sky, he attacks Ward using that like a, a technological version of that Xena move where she would like chop your throat to stop your breathing, which yeah, I, I approve. I, I see you, I see what you did there. And I, I very much yeah, very nicely done. Let's see. And yeah, so Ward and Maria over the radio, you know, confront each other. And yeah, Maria says, you know, I, I never liked you from when I first met you, which is true that we saw that in the pilot. But she didn't know how bad he was. And then he, you know, insults her saying, you know, the, the if Fury was going to just make a piece of eye candy his second in command you know he could have at least picked Romanov and she's like that's funny I'll tell Romanov you know I'll tell her you said that which yeah that is the I can 100% see yeah her chuckling at at that you know and it, it's reminiscent of you know in in the in the first Avengers, you know, they, they, um, she's interrogating the general whilst the general thinks he's interrogating her. You know, this idiot is giving up everything, you know, and at one point he says something like, uh, yeah, he, he calls her pretty and makes a, a very clear implied threat. And then she says, really? You think I'm pretty? So, you know, that is the kind of thing that she, that fits her sense of humor. And, yeah, you know, I appreciate that the, it's the, it's a villain character talking about the, the, these two female S.H.I.E.L.D. agents as if they're nothing but eye candy, sending the message to the audience that that's a scummy thing to do. That's a, yeah. Let's see. And, yeah, we learned that, you know, Maria never thought that Ward was actually going to stand down. She was just buying time so Phil could get on the bus. And I, I it's very fun when, you know, he's like, you know, don't worry, I can take Ward. And, and she's like, yeah, well, what about Deathlock? Deathlock's on this plane? New, pl new plan, run. Which is a, a legitimately clever subversion because so often these kind of infiltrations, like the hero, the heroic character is just gonna like easily take out everyone, even if it's not completely easy. They're certainly gonna manage, but here, you know, it becomes a rescue operation instead of taking over the bus. And and they actually do like the the. They do the buckle up joke, which I love the first Universal Soldier movie too. So yeah, very nice. I I really need I need to buy multiple hats so that I can take each of them off at different points. In because I'm I'm loving all these references. And yeah, they do manage to land. They do the thing the the American movie trope where. The car won't work. Oh, it worked just in time, you know, kind of thing. 20 bucks for special parking, and, you know, Phil just, like, reaches for his wallet, and goes, that's, yeah, pretty funny. And I love, you know, earlier in the episode, Ward told Sky this isn't personal, and she points out how, you know, just, yeah, this is just completely ridiculous. And... Now, Mike says it to Ward, which, you know, at this point, like, either he just accepts or he's going to reveal that he's a hypocrite, that he doesn't like 
when someone hurts him and then says it was nothing personal any more than Sky does, or anyone really. We are not bringing the band back together. We are not on a mission from God. We are not going to play a place that plays both kinds of music, country and western. Just like, yes, I, I, I need hats. Send me hats, please, because I, just, I these references, I, I gobble them up. They're, they're yummy. And, yeah, very, very cute when Fitzsimmons are, are talking and, you know, like, both of them tell you, you know, I'm not Hydra. Please tell me you're not Hydra either, kind of thing. Just, yeah. And then the post-credits... Right, and the, yeah, I appreciate that the episode ends and it's like, you know, what what next? What are we going to do? There are no more secret bases. And, yeah, the post-credits, you know, May shows Colson that he resigned over Tahiti, and he, you know, on the, in in the message, he's talking about, you know, the, I mean, the best chance we have at all is memory replacement, but I'm not suggesting that, you know, even those results are iffy. So, yeah, that is, you know, that's the, the, I, I, I will say, you know, for all the, the times I've called this show out for its government propaganda, that is actually a, you know, I also, right, and, and earlier in this episode, like, they won't arrest Sky, so she attacks them, and then they'll arrest her. That was also, like, because it's like, he's not going to be able to hurt you. Look at her. You know, she's not, but they'll, they're, they're happy to arrest her. If she does even, if she's inconveniencing them, you know. And they're also useless because there's a piece of American media where cops are useless when, you know, the, often they are in reality as well. But, you know, when they're not useless in American media, they're helpful, which that's not super accurate. But the, the yeah, you know... The fact that Phil was, like, working on this thing and realizes this is not, this is not okay, I really am not, I mean, he's essential. it's not quite whistleblowing because he was telling his boss, not, like, the, the authorities, but, yeah, you know, he, he, he communicated a message that, you know, this is, what we're doing here is not okay, and instead of them no longer doing it, which, you know, sadly, whistleblowing has not really led to it not being done. Yeah, instead, he was subjected to this awful thing. And he's a character that we sympathize with, you know. So, yeah, um, I quite approve of that. And that... I believe is it for the yeah right uh, I'm really glad that Talbot didn't die I look forward to seeing more of him there's no way this is the last time we see him and I, I like the thing with you know the the um, are you gonna shoot me if I come out because then I'm not coming out was also pretty funny and yeah um maybe i'll be able to do one tomorrow if not the day after tomorrow will be the my next vlog on an episode of the show very excited to see so there's like there's two episodes left of the season yeah excited to see how they finish off the yeah and yes until my next video on the show, remember to knock on wood if you have good news, but you are being hunted by the government.